In the case of foreigners staying in Ghana for less than 90 days, a valid passport or other travel document will be required. But they can only use the SIM card for 30 days, after which it will be deactivated. And foreigners would have a limit of three SIM cards across all networks as well. For the very first time in the history of Ghana, the country is successfully building a strong data system just like some developed countries like Brazil, Germany and Switzerland. So to achieve this goal, they are going to re-register all SIM cards in the country with a new digital Ghana ID card within the next six months. According to the Ghana Minister responsible for communications and digitalization, Honorable Esla Ousu Ekufo, this SIM card re-registration exercise will help authorities to monitor and track down persons who use their phones for criminal activities. She also said Ghanaian citizens can register up to 10 SIM cards with their ID card, whilst foreigners can register a limit of 3 SIM cards across all networks in the country. Let's hear more from Honorable Esla Ousu Ekufo on this. But before we go, please don't forget to like this video. It will really help us grow. Thank you very much for liking. Now, enjoy. Ladies and gentlemen, in, in the speech delivered by the President on 6 March 2018, he said, and I quote, At its core, the poverty gap is a technology gap. The mastery of technology is what, at the end of the day, separates developed countries from developing ones or rich countries from poor countries. This is the gap that we have to bridge." Unquote. We in the Ministry of Communications and Digitalization will work assiduously with all ministries, departments and agencies in a concerted manner to attain this objective. The expanded mandate of the MOCD to include digitalization will ensure that the government's multi-sectoral digital agenda is properly coordinated by this ministry. And it requires the integration and possible expansion of existing digital infrastructure, applications and services to prevent duplication, fragmentation and waste of scarce national resources. The sector holds the key to the transformation of our entire economy through technology and we intend to lead efforts to achieve that. In 2019, on this very forum, we indicated that we would commence SIM registration in March 2020. However, due to the pandemic, we were unable to do so. I'm happy to announce that the Ministry and all stakeholders in the sector will launch the National SIM Card Registration Exercise across the country next month in October. The Subscriber Identity Model Registration Regulations 2011 LI 2006 mandates network operators or service providers to activate a subscriber identity model SIM only after the subscriber registers the SIM of an individual certificate of incorporation in the case of a body corporate or registration in the case of a partnership or an unincorporated body of persons and provide an identification document as well. Only the national ID card, the Ghana card, issued to an individual shall be used for registration of SIM cards of citizens, foreign residents in Ghana and foreigners staying in Ghana for more than 90 days. In the case of foreigners staying in Ghana for less than 90 days, a valid passport or other travel document will be required. The modalities for SIM registration, I'll go through that briefly. One, all new subscribers would have to produce their Ghana card to acquire a new SIM card. For businesses to register SIMs in bulk, the business operator will be required to verify their business no, the network operator will be required to verify the business of their SIMs via USSD and a SIM registration app. The verification of all subscribers and businesses will be against the databases of the National Identification Authority and the Registrar General's Department where necessary. Indeed, for the businesses 
in addition to verifying from the Registrar General's Department that that business is valid, a shareholder or director of the organization will have to personally be linked to the registration of the SIM cards. Four, individuals can register a total number of 10 SIM cards across all networks and foreigners would have a limit of three SIM cards across all networks as well. Let me caution here that people should not think that they can hide behind businesses and register as many SIM cards as they want. All SIM cards registered to a business will be linked to a shareholder or director of the business. And if a business SIM card is found to have been engaged in a fraudulent activity, that shareholder or director will be held personally liable. The NCA will develop mechanisms to enable subscribers, both individuals and businesses, to check and verify the number of SIM cards which have been registered in their names at all times. Foreigners visiting Ghana can acquire a SIM card using their passports or travel card, but they can only use the SIM card for 30 days, after which it will be deactivated. Foreigners intending to use a SIM card for more than 30 days would have to obtain the non-citizen Ghana card to do so. The NCA has also made it mandatory for the operators to verify passports and travel cards against an international database before registering and activating a SIM card for foreigners. Special arrangements will be made for diplomatic personnel living and working in Ghana in conjunction with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. One of the interesting things we're also doing is to enforce Regulation 6 of the SIM regulations, which states that I quote, a network operator or service provider that provides international roaming service in, in the country to a subscriber from another country shall enter into an agreement with a network operator or service provider of that subscriber. The agreement shall provide for the particulars of the subscriber in the records of the network operator or service provider during the period that the subscriber uses the SIM in this country. We believe that enforcing this will address the potential issue of would-be fraudsters and criminals using SIM cards from other countries to roam on Ghanaian networks to engage in crime. The minimum age for registration has been set at 15 years, taking into consideration the increased use of communications services since the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic and to facilitate e-education. For the very first time in Ghana, there will be a SIM register just like countries such as Brazil, Germany and Switzerland, which will serve as a database giving comprehensive statistics regarding the number of subscribers in Ghana and providing a resource for tracking fraudsters and criminals. Barring any unforeseen eventualities, SIM registration will begin on 1st October 2021 for a six-month period and end on 31st March 2022. We encourage all Ghanaians and foreigners resident in Ghana to ensure that they have their Ghana cards and non-citizen Ghana card ready.